Guys, is the Division 2 actually worth your time in 2022? Well, short answer is yes, but the long one is HELL NO! Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. Unfortunately, guys, I have spent almost 100 and freaking 90 days oh my God! in this game, so I can be pretty goddamn brutally honest <laughs> boy. with you all. And man, my honeymoon phase was over pretty goddamn quick as well. And I can tell you one thing, if you don't want to go in depth, then I have to warn you that Division 2 right now at this state is game with no end game and you can't really consider this one as a looter shooter since loot is absolutely terrible and weapons are kind of the same but I will get into the details of course. But if you are looking for one and done deal then Division 2 will be perfect for you guys. If you will consider how much money you will spend on this one and if you will buy New York Warlords DLC, goddamn, that's no brainer, definitely pick it up, but consider it as one and done deal, guys. Honestly, you will not be disappointed. New York Warlords DLC is pretty goddamn fun. New map, we have a couple raids, Connie Island, Zoo Mission, and so on. So you will really, really spend your money well here so it's a good investment if you're looking for some decent entertainment but if you're looking for your main game which could take thousand hours from your life this is not it man especially at this state i can't recommend you this game as your main game i got hooked with division one i will not lie and with division two i always hoping that Massive will fix all the issues they created, but unfortunately, communication is absolutely terrible. They are throwing us bones. Gotcha, bitch. And for me, it's unacceptable. Of course, we have <clears throat> agents who will kiss Massive's golden bullet nonstop. Oh my! And we'll tell that everything is fine. But let's be honest here, one year with no content whatsoever, but I'm going off track, man. So, first topic will be open world, guys. And uh, let's compare Divisions 1 open world with Division 2, and honestly, you will see immediately difference. Division 2... <laughs> uh, design is absolutely poorly executed, in my eyes. DC is overwhelmed with activities and in typical massive style quantity everywhere they think more is better and unfortunately with division 2 it's absolutely terrible idea since you can't go five meters without encountering some kind of action but it can get even worse than that guys when you will try to clear all those controls sometimes well, I, I'm lying here. Pretty goddamn often, you will not fight only enemies at that control point, but as well some resource convoy, maybe elite patrol, and so on. And as cherry on top of the cake, you will fight drone. And why that's bad? Because once they will see you, and all these activities can be from different factions, but once they will see you, everyone will fight only you. And that's pretty goddamn frustrating, man. Especially when you try to explore Division 2 or DC World. And it's pretty goddamn boring. There is nothing to oh, see. These all the white streets. Come on, man. No really exciting landmarks whatsoever. And like I said, it's really frustrating to fight non stop mobs. You can't get to point A from point B pretty goddamn easily. And uh, yeah, and the loot in open world is, okay, that's a different topic, but one bright side actually is missions. In Division 2, each mission is kind of different. 
different setting, different location and mi missions are kind of dope. So I can tell you that missions are really worth your time. But open world is pretty goddamn terrible and DZ the same story. Unfortunately in DZ it's even worse because now we have 3 DZs and they are really small and loot they are pretty goddamn terrible and most likely you will be shot in your bag or somebody will ch ch checkpoint farm you so keep that in mind when you want to go to DZ but mainly there is mayhem right now but in Division 1 that's different story you feel that happened something terrible you can see really survivors on the streets that's dope man the setting environment those snowstorms the fog is absolutely beautiful i can walk around in new york for hours even without engaging the mobs that's how great the setting is in division one in division two goddamn i'm using all the time fast travel i hate hate open world in division 2 in dc especially hell man i'm spending more time with divisions to new york expansion you can see immediately that expansion is much more beautiful place to be much more vibrant much more things to find to see you have some kind of elevation there is no verticality whatsoever in dc none even if you will go down to the sewers, most of the time I'm going there for materials, but not for some dope experience. <laughs> so open world department absolutely sucks in Division 2. And that leads us, of course, to the shooting and gameplay. And uh, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. In terms of gameplay, Division 2 is really, really arcadey now arcade as hell man and i'm not lying to you shooting mechanics are really really simple right now and if you're gonna test weapons by yourself you're gonna see that patterns are pretty much the same for assault rifle class for smg class of course we have famas which has a little bit different recoil but other than that or except a couple of weapons you can see that weapons behave the same way that's the reason why you don't feel anything different by using benchy or maybe police m4 except the visual concept but other than that man if you're gonna compare it with division one hell brother that's a huge difference i love the house exotic smg and you can see immediately difference between my light m4 Assault Rifle and of course SMG Recoil, that's free recoil, just hold your trigger and you will see how weapon will behave and you have to work with the house SMG, it's really dope but it gives you kind of satisfaction when you master your favorite weapon, you understand what I'm telling here? In Division 2 you can play with pistol, shotgun, any assault rifle and you can be decent since there is no accuracy or skill gap. I am trying to tell you that there is no skill gap and Division 2 is really arcadey in terms of shooting. In Division 1 if you haven't played and maybe veteran players forgot about it, but in Division 1 you had to work with your weapon and with some time you will get in love with that one weapon type. You will use it non-stop and there is some kind of satisfaction to nail those headshots with weapon which is completely wild and uh, to me that's pretty goddamn dope guys uh, I'm constantly going back to division 1 and playing there and oh my goodness uh, weapons feel different and that's really good thing I understand that maybe that not suits for more pl most of the players but come on man that, that's shooter, you have to separate different classes, of course we have range in Division 2 and accuracy will be different with range, but man, in, with this time to kill, everyone is trying to be in your face, so I think, again, that's huge no-no, and now we are moving to the gear, and gear is... Mm, 
How I can put that really simple way so you could understand with each update, major update, uh, massive made year simpler and simpler. At first we had a lot of talents, for example we had 3 talents on our weapons just like in Division 1 and we had holster talent on second one. So that alone could make pretty dope combinations. On each gear piece we had some kind of talent and of course we had requirements. You know those popular builds 3, 11, 7 and you had to get those requirements to unlock some talents, skill power, armor or weapon damage or weapon core attributes and so on. But with each update we received only one talent on one gear piece, then only unique talents on gear pieces, so you could not stack them, and at the end we have only now two talents. So in nutshell, game became more friendly or more friendly to new players, but we sacrificed diversity. Diversity pretty much died with these decisions. We have only a couple talents that are really working and uh, half of them are absolutely thrown away and uh, <laughs> unfortunately it is what it is and that brings me to the loot game. The main thing here is once you will get a couple decent builds, that's it. There is nothing much you can do. You will complete raids and if you are not an insane person, <laughs> who will play raid non-stop till, till he will die, then there is nothing actually to do more. Of course you can experiment, but again, I think you will do that if you're gonna fall in love with this game. If you're a new player, I would recommend you to think this is as one and done deal, because if you're gonna be in love with Division 2, oh my god, this is uh, <laughs> a road to hell. Because communication with Massive is absolutely terrible, we are not receiving uh, anything in this game, we didn't receive in a year even a PRL event, so it's pretty goddamn terrible, they are all the time feeding us with empty promises. And yeah, of course everyone is talking about the future, 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 but when the future will come actually? future future yeah and yeah in open world loot this is as well terrible even though i'm on heroic difficulty and uh, with directives applied you can get purple loot so in nutshell man i'm telling you you will get more frustrating by more playing this game so if you want to be happy with your purchase Play this game, complete the story, get level 40, complete New York Warlord DLCs, get some decent setups for raids, experience them, and that's it. And leave, leave it. Leave this game until something really major comes to it. And guys, just to put everything in perspective at the end, I will show you activity numbers for Division 1 and Division 2. And actually, Division 1 received quite a nice boost during this holiday season and it reached almost 2,000 active players per hour and this game is 5 years old, that's quite telling guys. Of course those are Steam charts for PC players but I think across the all platform story could be pretty goddamn similar but for Division 2 we have 2, 3 and a really good day 4,000 active players per hour on PC, but again, Division is kind of fresh, Division 2 I have to say, and it hasn't received any content whatsoever, and if this trend will continue, this guy, game will die, and it just shows that I'm not speaking lies or something like that. This game, or Division 2, has no end game, and the loot is terrible, and that's the reason why people are coming back to Division 1, because A, PvP, B, set in the open world, I could enjoy myself in this world non-stop, hours, hours, and hours, and uh, you have inquisitions, you can hardcore yourself, global events happening non-stop, so this game is kinda live, but guys, if you want to get all the best items in your game, 
the theming that night is set for you. These guys are absolutely amazing. They will complete your order super fast. Everything happens with Echo Sharing. This service has been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews. You can check everything by yourself. If you didn't get my promo code, which is every deal, and with that you will have 15% discount on all services. It's amazing deal, same deal that that is updating their price basically daily. But if you didn't get, leave question to the operator and he will reply you immediately about anything you are interested in. And yeah, Butcher drops the mic. See you in the next one. Bye.